Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Airsoft Elmo, and today we're going to be talking about my personal M4A1 Tokyo Marui recoil. Let's get right into this. So the box leaves a bit to be desired, as this is one of the early recoils on the market. The box just feels like very empty, lots of empty space on it, and very, very grey. But I digress. Let's open up this box. So even though this is out of my personal collection, I have yet to make any changes, so this is the same way you will receive it if you decide to purchase one for yourself. Inside the box you will see you get your standard unjamming rod, a mid-cap magazine, the M4A1 itself, a manual, and a little box containing some BBs. I must say first impressions after opening the box, it looks great and reminds me what Tokyo Marui is all about, quality plastic. What I mean by this is, the M4A1 compared to other recoils has a lot of standard plastic furniture, which doesn't bother me, but it is worth mentioning. When held, you can definitely feel the quality behind TM's work. I'm unsure of what I'm going to be doing with the outside furniture aesthetically with my M4A1, but for now it is serving me just fine. But now it's time to stop gazing at this, and let's take it out to the chrono and see how it does. As usual, this test was done on a 0.2 gram BB and on a 7.4 LiPo. I'll post the results after the first 10 shots. Talk about consistent. Now onto the range test. Unfortunately at the moment my range test can only be done at 10 meters away at a target that is 7 inches by 7 inches, which is far too easy for this rifle, but still, let's see how it does. Also, I'm still using 0.2 gram BBs by XL. Now let's take a look at those results. Just so you guys know, I also only put about 20 BBs in the mag, so it wasn't a full magazine, just to kind of leave something left of the target. Grouping is as expected as I was only 10 meters away, and this M4 can shoot way beyond the 10 meter range. But like all TMs, it fires spot on. Now to quickly show off some of the recoil in action. There isn't much functionalities of this rifle besides the selector switch, which is located on the left. The charging handle opens the dust flap to get to the adjustable hop, and the mag release which is found on the right side, right above the trigger guard. So because this is an AEG and not a gas blowback, I can't tell you how many BBs I get per one filled gas mag. What I can tell you is my 7.4 LiPo lasts me all day, do a lot of single firing and a couple full auto bursts, and I could literally play with this gun all day on a single 7.4 LiPo. Also keep in mind that the TM mags are 85 rounds, so that is quite low compared to most mid caps being around 100 to 120, uh, which is what this gun comes standard with and what I bought extra as I like the look of the mag. Because this is the M4A1, the battery is located in the front handguard, unlike the SOP mod which has a crane stock for the battery compartment. It has loads of room, this is the battery I use, um, it's a fair sized battery, it's 1300mAh at 25C, and it's a 7.4 LiPo which is highly recommended for all recoils. I personally wouldn't be going anything higher. There is people that use 11 ones, but they only run it on single shot for a more snappier trigger response. As usual, all my tests were done on a 0.2 gram BB made by XL, and usually when I use my gas blowbacks, I always use the Abbey 134A gas, which was not needed in this video due to the gun being an AAG. Both these products are highly recommended for all TM products. Now for the pros and cons list. Starting with the pros. Number one, recoil is nice and satisfying to shoot. Number two, fair sized battery space and easy to access. Number three, FPS is super consistent. Number four, Loads of customizing that can be done. And now to the cons. Number one, must use recoil mags unless you have an adapter. Number two, loads of plastic furniture. So just a quick one, just keep in mind these pros and cons lists are just personal preference. These could change on what you think. You could actually have a lot more cons or no cons. Uh, this is just based on my personal preference of the product itself. But now it's time for my rating, and I could easily say that my Tokyo Marui M4A1 recoil deserves a solid 10 out of 10. Um, it's just something I cannot follow. Like all Tokyo Marui recoils, the M4A1 is right up there with the consistency, the accuracy, and the reliability. Plus you could customize it the way you want, making it your own. But that pretty much wraps up this review everyone. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stick around for the cue cards above. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like this video as it helps me out a lot. There's tons more reviews coming, uh, so keep your eye out for that and hopefully I can see you on the next one. Thank you all for watching.